Good morning, my dear friends who are gathering in Washington uh, this, this afternoon uh, to celebrate the Maimuna. I, uh, it is my honor to welcome you. Uh, my name is Albert Gabay. I'm the rabbi of Congregation Mikve Israel, the Spanish and Portuguese synagogue in the city of Philadelphia that was founded in 1740. And it's also nicknamed the Synagogue of the American Revolution. Uh, you are gathered to celebrate the Maimuna. The Maimuna is a very important uh, celebration because it usually occurs at the end of the holiday of Pesach, Passover. And uh, as you know, the Jews are not allowed to eat bread during the whole eight days of Passover. And when the holiday ends in the evening of the eight days, then Jews would love to, le to eat now bread again. And for that, uh, they are very blessed and very lucky that their Muslim um, neighbors uh, in Morocco are very glad to offer them bread, uh, fresh bread, which is uh, delicious, uh, especially after eight days of not eating bread. Uh, Maimona is named after uh, the great rabbi. It is believed that he, uh, uh, he was born and died on the same day, which is the eighth day of Passover. Um, it's related to, to the cooperation, uh, which is, has been between the Muslim neighborhood and their Jewish friends. And so it represents a cooperation between two people with two different religions, yet worshipping the same God. And that is an important aspect of uh, our humanity, that we believe in the same God and we help each other. When the Muslim community needs the Jewish help, then of course we offer that help. When the Jewish community needs the help of the Moroccan neighbors, then of course they received that help. And they have been blessed really, particularly in Morocco, of all the, all the countries uh, where Islam was, that was very tolerant and very welcoming to the Jews. So uh, it is important to celebrate that holiday, not, because, not only because of the wonderful cooperation, but also because it's part of our tradition, our minhagim. We have to maintain our minhagim. Our, our minhagim are very important because they make us distinguished from other groups of people. And not that we are superior. No, we are not superior. But we have different ways of doing things. And th that is very important. Uh, we are told that minhag is, uh, is part of our tradition and should be always maintained. So I wish you a wonderful time and, and, and bless you and hope that, God willing, next year you'll have again the same celebration, perhaps even bigger and certainly more blessed. May God bless all of you and I wish you shalom and salam.